Hello, and welcome to our virtual green concrete laboratory. Here is Ivana, and she will show you that making green concrete is piece of cake, so buckle up over the next 10 minutes and enjoy. As every composite material, concrete has recipes. This is a special recipe made to show you how we do it. We start by mixing our dry components, sand, ground industrial waste, activating chemicals and water and we mix thoroughly. The moment we add water is called zero time as it is the beginning of the hardening process. From now on, in 5 minutes, we will be having concrete cubes. Why are we adding chemicals? We need them to help waste behave like a cement. Here we see how mass is liquefying, which will allow us to pour it and cast it. After we poured concrete into scaffolding, or molds like here, we usually shake it, strike it or vibrate it in order to release entrapped air, as we want concrete to be dense and stiff. Now is the time to wait for at least several minutes. And while waiting, let's explain some points and what we are doing in our project. Let's start from a short video. This is the world. That's you and that's me. The world has the perfect temperature to keep all living things alive and happy. This temperature depends on a balance. The sun's heat goes to Earth to make it warm. The sun's heat bounces back to space to make the Earth cool. When this balance is lost, the climate changes. The Earth's climate has changed many times before. This is called natural climate change. It's caused by volcanic eruptions, changes in the sun's energy, and changes in the Earth's orbit. Greenhouse gases also make the Earth warmer. They trap heat from the sun. Greenhouse gases are like a blanket covering the Earth. It started in the 1700s. Humans started to build more things. We burned coal to make electricity. We burn oil to make our cars and planes move. We use chemicals to make things. We cut down lots of trees. We burn gas to cook food. We dump lots of trash on landfills. We plant a lot more rice. 
All these things release greenhouse gases. Remember the blanket over the earth? Because of humans, it got much, much thicker. When I get hot, I sweat. I even get dizzy. Imagine the earth. Because it's hotter, glaciers and ice sheets are melting. Seas are rising, storms are getting stronger, some places are getting dry, even the sea is getting warmer. All living things are in big trouble. So what should we do? We need to change the way we live so we can stop releasing so much greenhouse gases. That way, the Earth's blanket will go back to normal. We also need to be ready for what climate change will bring. Now let's come back to our topic today, what is concrete and why we are making it green. Carbon dioxide, as the most aggressive greenhouse gas, is taking the primary responsibility for the global climate change. Concrete is the most used man-made material in the world. It's in fact artificial stone made of water, cement, sand and gravel. Sand and gravel are providing toughness while cement and water are creating a binder that acts as a glue to hold everything together. And since it takes some time to harden, we get all shapes and forms of concrete. Carbon dioxide is emitted as a byproduct of cement production, an intermediate product in cement manufacture, in which calcium carbonate is calcinated and converted to lime. The primary component of cement CO2 is also emitted during cement production by fossil fuel combustion. In 2016, world cement production generated around 2.2 billion tons of CO2 equivalent to 8% of the global total. We are emitting around 0.8 T of CO2 to build new and to reconstruct existing buildings. Every year in EU we produce 180 million tons of cement Every year we produce 180 billion tons of cement in Europe And we've made a deal to protect our planet and lower CO2 emission for at least 75% until 2050 Well, we have a lot of work All across the Europe we are trying to identify locally available industrial wastes and products that we can use to create green concrete our concrete emits around 60% less CO2 and prevents waste from being dumped to landfills. The thing waste needs in order to become like cement or alkaline chemicals called activators. So we at Dersom Network are 13 researchers that are making concrete from waste. Back to the experiment, you see here our concrete hardened in 5 minutes, as promised in the beginning. Normally, we transport fresh concrete from the factory to the construction site in mixer trucks and for that we need it to stay fresh for a couple of hours. But here are some applications where we need a concrete to Howarden fast 3D printing and repair applications. Here, we see that concrete is strong enough. Adding something like if you want to save the world, become a concrete scientist. Follow us on YT for more fun.